My name is Tommaso and I'm a previous international business student at the Han University of Applied Sciences coming from Italy. For this section, I am joined with our international student, Christina, studying life sciences, and also with our representative from the international office, Magda. First of all, thank you very much, you guys, for joining during this section. We're really, really happy to have you over. Um, today, we will be covering some, yeah, during the section, we will be covering some uh, practical facts mm -hmm. and matters about studying at the Han, what it is like, and how, and we will also be diving into uh, really being a student at the Han, what is it like uh, also to be international and uh, everything like that. All right, so first of all, to get started, Christina, would you like to introduce yourself a little bit? What are you doing and how do you like your study program so far? Yes, yeah, so uh, I'm a life science student. That's basically molecular biology. Um, and I'm a third year student. Um, I, I can say that I really found my passion. From the moment I joined this bachelor, I know it was the right choice for me. Uh, we, uh, we do a lot of practical work. Uh, we really focus on understanding the molecular basis of, of how the cell works and how, um, how this whole environment interacts with one another. And I feel like it's such an interesting approach. It's, it's, it's not highly theoretical. It's very practical. And that's something that I really love about it. Wonderful. Thank you for introducing yourself. And Magda, how about you? What do you get to do at the International Office at the Han? Well, I work at the International Office. We do a number of things and I myself am mainly concerned with the incoming students, mm -hmm. so bachelor, masters, but also exchange students. Um, we have offices in both campuses, Arnhem and Nijmegen, and I work in both of them. And I've been with the university for more than 15 years already. All right, perfect. So let's start off with a very general question that we get asked all the time, mm -hmm. especially because here in the Netherlands, uh, we have this difference between universities of research and universities of applied sciences. And I feel like perhaps some of the students applying don't really know exactly what that entails. For example, that was my case prior to <laughs> applying because in my country, uh, we don't have any difference whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So Magda, would you mind walking us sure. through this a little bit? Yeah, of course. Um, I would say that the main difference between a traditional research university and Han University of Applied Sciences is that we put a little bit more emphasis on the practical, practical component in each study program. Like Christina already mentioned, there's a lot of uh, um, practical work involved um, that also implies uh, close ties to the professional field. Um, um, most, in most cases, from year one on, you already do a sort of a small internship yes. um, during semester one. Um, so the emphasis is really also not just on the theoretical part, but also on the practical part. And I think every module, depending on the module, of course, um, has a division between theory and practice. And that could be 70% theory, 30% practice. But you also have completely practical modules or whether the ratio is a little bit different. But there's always eye for the hands-on approach. Mm -hmm. That is what sets out the um, University of Applied Sciences from a research University. Yes. Yeah. Do you agree, Christina? Okay. Yeah. Yes, I can say that. Um, well, thing is, at first it's really 50-50, I feel like. Mm -hmm. But the more you go on, it becomes 70, 30 percent. Like uh, now we do a lot of practical, which is which is very good because uh, as I'm studying life sciences, it's very important that you know how to work in a lab. Uh, and you need to get experience to do that. So I feel like it becomes more and more practical as you go on. And when you get to an internship, you have all of that practical knowledge. So it, it really helps you. Yes, right. So you are studying in your third year currently. Yes. Have you already gotten to do your internship? No, I haven't started mm -hmm. yet. I'm going to do them in my fourth year. Okay. But I've done my major, which is my uh, specialization. And I'm also doing my minor now, which has a lot of practical work. So my major was, again, five days a week going to the lab and having uh, the theory lessons as well. Mm -hmm. And the theory lessons were really complementary to the practical work that I was doing. Now I also do five times a day lab work. And then when I have the internships where I have to be there every day, eight hours, I'm just going to be prepared to do it. Wonderful. So I think it's great. Yes. And thank you very much also for clarifying this matter because I feel like sometimes we do get uh, the questions from students asking, do I actually get enough theory in order to apply this theory yes. to the practice or to yes. the group work or to 
also like a, an actual internship because in some study programs you get to do an internship already in your third year and so you only had two years of studying mm -hmm. and so that pretty much answers the questions because yes you have some modules like in your case that are almost fully theoretical in a way right yes, definitely wonderful so um, of course when it comes to um, like applying for a study program you also really are looking into what you can do afterwards. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's uh, sure. really one of the major things that comes to mind when people or young students are applying for higher education. Mm -hmm. What does that look like at the Han University of Applied Sciences? Can students find a job easily after graduating? I think they can, because the job market is really in need of highly skilled uh, employer employees mm -hmm. um, in almost every area. So I think the job opportunities, once you graduate from one of the Han programs, are really, really good especially nowadays. Um, it depends, of course, a little bit on the kind of study program that you did, but they're good all, all, overall, and they're especially good in the engineering area. Okay. Yeah. And do you feel like international students also, like from your experience working in the international office, do you feel like they uh, are also willing to work within the Dutch market once they uh, graduate, or do they often go back to their home countries? Well, of course, it depends on what is your personal aspirations mm -hmm. in life, whether you want to stay here and, and uh, start your career and maybe even a family life. Um, but yeah, there are quite a good number of students that do want to be part of the Dutch labor market especially because uh, our labor market is rather internationally oriented already, so it's easier for international students to, to fit in and to find a job that suits their needs. Yeah, so some of them really do enjoy becoming Dutchies. <laughs> Christina, do you already have some plans for whenever you will be graduating? Do you feel like you will remain in the Netherlands or maybe go back to your home country? Yes, I will definitely want to remain here. I feel like after four years of being in the Netherlands, I really got accustomed to the culture. Mm -hmm. And there are just some memories. I feel like it's the biggest part of my life is the life that I lived here. Um, so I feel like, I, like this is my home now. So I really want to live here. I really want to stay here. Um, and I had an internship interview recently and I just went there and it was only full of, of, of Dutch people, but the moment they saw me, they just switched to English and they just made me feel like I'm part of them, you know, and, and that kind of warmth that you have to never feel like you don't belong there. They, they always make you feel like you, you belong there and you're welcome here. It's something that uh, it's, it's very unique to this country and which I really like. Yes, thank you so much for sharing this uh, because I feel like also from the people at home watching, like when you're an international student going so far away to a different country, that is really the feeling that you want to have, like that you're uh, moving to a country that is um, accepting you and that is welcoming you with open arms and that is also willing to um, embrace um, everything that you have to offer Definitely. as an international uh, student. So Definitely. that's uh, really, really encouraging for sure. Talking about international experiences, of course, definitely studying in the Netherlands per se is already an international experience for yes. any international student. But I want to hear from Christina. When you come to the Netherlands, do you actually need to learn Dutch or do you need to be able to communicate with other people? Uh, I feel like you don't have to learn mm -hmm. Dutch. I feel like the environment is very international. I am originally from Romania and I can say that there a lot of people don't speak English. So that is a, quite a problematic, I would say. But here, with any person, any age that, uh, that they might have, older or younger, they can c communicate very well in English. So you absolutely do not have to learn Dutch. However, I feel like if you want to make friends and stay here later on, learning the language yeah. is a must, mm -hmm. which, which, which makes sense. And it's also nice to, to really understand what's happening because in the breaks, if you have uh, fellow Dutch students, uh, uh, they will speak in Dutch. And if you don't understand anything, you might feel left out. So mm -hmm. I feel like learning a bit of Dutch, just the basics, mm -hmm. in, in three to four years, you can definitely learn some basics. I so, agree. Uh, yeah. Do you agree as well? I do agree, <laughs> and that's why we, we offer a, a, a course, beginner's yes. course in Dutch language. It's called I, Social Dutch. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it lasts, uh, it's a short course, it's only eight weeks. Uh, but then you learn the basics and you learn how to say hi and good morning and thank you. and I think it's highly appreciated in, in Dutch is. society if you make an effort to address someone in their original language, especially the older generation. Yes. And it's easier to um, to feel at home, I think, if you yeah. maybe yeah, if you just can say a few words. 
uh, to the cashier or someone in the train or maybe help someone out. Yes. I couldn't agree more, really. So you mentioned this social Dutch course. How does it work and how do you apply for it? You can apply for it, but we'll give you more information once you get here during the orientation week, mm -hmm. the introduction week. Um, you can sign up for it uh, online. It is done by the Haan Language Center. And like I said, you can either do it online, in an online course, or offline on campus in Arnhem or in Nijmegen. And it's 10 weeks. Uh, no, I said eight weeks. Eight, it's eight, eight weeks. Eight, eight yes, weeks. sorry. <laughs> so it's, it's really doable next to your, your major yes. program. Yes. Have you followed this uh, social did. Dutch course? I did. I yeah. did. And I can say that I met one of my best friends there. Oh, I can say that it's, it's so fun and it really, really helps you. And uh, the teacher is so kind and I just... And it never <coughs> interfered with my study, so it was always in the evenings, mm. so that was, that was perfect. Yeah, sounds really manageable then, if yes, it's, it's during the evening time to combine it together with your other duties, of yes. course.